we will now prepare ambo tik and for that we will use shark okay now the shark pieces have already been cut and uh, washed and now what i have done is i have put in some salt and also put in little vinegar and keep it there for some time this is about half a kilo of shark now or it's also known as lemon fish here in new zealand we have about 12 chilies all this to be ground 12 red chilies um turmeric powder two cardamom this is about um uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder about 12 uh, peppercorns five cloves two uh, sticks of um, cinnamon about um, six flakes of garlic a piece of ginger about 3/4 uh, teaspoon of uh, uh, cumin seeds about half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and all these have to be ground together and uh, the masala has to be taken off now we have two onions which are to be sliced and chopped chopped because it's sliced and uh, maybe about 2 uh, 3 um across pieces so this is for um seasoning later on with little oil and this is um um tamarind about a lemon sized tamarind i have immersed in uh, hot water which we have to squeeze out the water to finally put in the curry and little salt and vinegar later on so now we will make the grind the masala place a deep bottom pan on the fire put little oil then the oil heats up put in some curry leaves about 10 maybe and then the top onion and fry for some time till the rawness goes now i also have some green chilies which i had not mentioned earlier these are sliced green chilies which you will put later on when the curry is really bubbling up so i'll keep that aside now that the onions have lost its rawness put in the masala ground masala this is a masala water i'm just making more water out of it pick it mix it well and let it fry well now that the masala has fried well and attained a slightly brownish color put in the masala water the squeeze tamarind water the slight chilies little vinegar maybe one and a half spoon and mix well when this 
starts bubbling that I am put in your shark pieces. Now put in your shark pieces. And allow it to cook. Don't put any water, any more water at this stage because water will there will be more gravy coming out from now the shark pieces. Mix well. and keep it for on fire for some time on slow fire so the curry is on the sticky side check for salt and vinegar mm. salt and vinegar is okay so if you want little more slightly more liquid in the gravy put about half a cup maybe yeah that's it and one more boil and that's it you have the final product ambur tik shark ambur tik you can also make ambur tik out of sear fish or surmai and also known as kingfish they say and or pomfret mackerel 